All right, gang, here we go. This is for Chem 2 Unit 13. We're talking about half reactions and how to balance them. All right, in the previous video, we just talked about oxidation numbers and reintroduced ourselves to the idea of oxidizing, things that getting oxidized, things that getting reduced. Now, uh, we're going to talk about a little bit about what is, uh, how to balance these suckers because balancing them is not the same as uh, previous balancing. It's no longer about making sure the elements um, equal each side. There's a couple other tricks and it's all because with redox reactions, we don't really care so much uh, about the elements, we have to start worrying about the uh, the electrons. Okay, and so in order to do this, we balance them in sets called half reactions. So you take an overall redox reaction. Remember, reduction oxidation reactions have to come in sets. One thing gets reduced, the other thing gets oxidized. Um, but when we balance them, we're going to split them apart, and we're just going to look at just the thing being oxidized, and then just the thing that's being reduced, and then put those two together to get our overall reaction. All right. So for example, we have this example of a re uh, redox reaction. Okay, of uh, this is tin, and the tin is being oxidized because it's losing electrons. See, the electrons are over here. It's losing, it's producing electrons as a product. And then reduction, this iron is getting uh, redu reduced because it's gaining these electrons. These electrons are a reactant. Okay, and so we're gonna, and this would be a balanced reaction if we throw these together because the electrons cancel themselves out. All right, so balancing half reactions. So this is the overall synopsis. What you're going to do is you're going to take your overall reaction and you're going to turn it into two half reactions. So whatever gets reduced, whatever gets oxidized, and write them two separates outs. All right, next step, balance the atoms other than the oxygen and the hydrogen, and then balance the oxygen and hydrogen using water, okay, and the H plus. All right, add electrons to balance charges, multiply by the common fraction, make the electrons react equal, and then add the half reactions together. All right, so let's walk through one here. Uh, this is their little simplification of it. Okay. All right. Here, let's see. So we're going to do, we're going to follow along them doing a practice problem here. So they got permanganate up here, and they're adding it to this uh, carbonate oxalate down here. Okay. Um, and so uh, this is just a little titration thing. They're adding this permanganate down here, and it disappears in the oxalate until it's, uh, the uh, oxalate's completely consumed in the purple remains. And so this is a, a redox reaction. Okay. So you got the manganate with the oxalate making uh, magnesium 2 plus ion and carbon dioxide. Oxide. Okay, and so this reaction is going to keep going until obviously uh, all the manganate or all the oxalate is gone. Okay, and so they're going to assign oxidation numbers, and so we could uh, do this, but we're going to just going to skip ahead a little bit, save ourselves some time. And they tell us that the manganate it gets reduced; it goes from plus seven to plus two. So go ahead and pause the video and see if you can come up with the same idea. All right, and now carbon it says it's oxidized; it goes from plus three to plus four. All right, and so these are your carbons right here, going to from here to here. Pause the video and see if you can get the same thing. All right, so they took their two reactions, right, their two half reactions, and they're, they're going to split them up, and they're going to look at them differently. So first they're going to look at the oxidation half reaction. So the, the one that got oxidized is the one that gained electron or lost electrons, so it's, it's, its oxidation number goes up. Okay, and so it uh, goes from three to four. So here's your oxidation half reaction. There's your oxalate turning into carbon dioxide. So in order to balance it, remember first step is we're gonna balance everything that's not an oxygen or hydrogen. Carbon is not oxygen or hydrogen. So there's two carbons on this side, one on this side, so we're gonna add a two right there. Okay, now you can see that the oxygens are already balanced. Okay. <clears throat> so we don't have to do anything to that, right? Because the next step on here, right? We balance the other atoms, right? Then we balance oxygen, then we balance hydrogen. But there's no oxygen or hydrogen to balance. So now we jump straight to the electrons. Now, how do we balance the electrons? What you have to do is you look at the charges. The total charges on the reactant side need to equal the total charges on the product side. Right here, the total charges on the reactant side was two minus. So we got a two minus right there. The total charges on this side was zero because this is a neutral compound. It has a charge of zero. Okay, so in order to make this balance, we need to add electrons over to this side. And that also makes sense because it's oxidation. And remember, oil rig, oxidation is losing your electrons. So when you're looking at your oxidation half reaction, you better have electrons on the react or on the product side, because that just makes sense. Now the reduction half reaction is a little more complicated. Alright. Uh, first we balance our other elements, magnesium or manganate here. 
no no big deal mn mn on both sides the manganese is balanced now we need to balance the oxygen so in order to do that we're going to balance it by adding waters so uh, this side has four oxygens so to this side we're going to add four waters okay uh, and we give four waters gives us our four oxygens all right, so it doesn't matter that we added hydrogens. This is the part that's going to blow your little minds for a minute. Okay, uh, we're adding these hydrogens here. All right, and it doesn't really matter. Okay, uh, this oxygen is part of it. Well, we're just making sure the oxygen balances. Now we're going to use H plus in order to balance out uh, the hydrogens that we ad just added. Okay, so this is where we're at. And now there are eight hydrogens on the product side that are not on the reactant side. So in order to get rid balance those out, we're gonna add eight H pluses to the left-hand side. All right, so now we've got everything balanced except for our electrons. So now let's, let's take a break here and see if we can come up with what the charges are on each side. Okay, so on the left-hand side, we have plus eight and minus one. So we got a plus seven on this side. And on the right side, we've got a two plus. Okay, now we can only balance it by adding electrons. Okay, this one's plus seven, plus five, or plus two, so there's a five difference. So we have to add five electrons. Well, which side gets the five electrons? Well, the set plus seven does, because we need that to go down to uh, plus two. Okay, so that goes down there. So, and they did the same thing. They added five electrons to the left-hand side. Okay, and then now that we have, now that the reduction half reaction is balanced, now we're going to combine these two. Okay, in order to combine them, we can't just add them straight up. What we need to do is multiply them by a common factor in order to get a, um, make sure the electrons cancel when they go to both sides. So this one we're going to multiply by five, right? So all of these get multiplied, all the coefficients get multiplied by five, and all of these get multiplied by two. All right. So this becomes 5C oxalate and 10 and 10 electrons. And this becomes, I'll cancel out that 5 now. And this becomes uh, 10 electrons and 16 hydrogens and 2 permanganates and 2 manganate, manganates, whatever. And then 8 waters. Okay. Once we have those guys here, look, they came up with the same thing here. Add them together, you get this giant monstrosity, and then we can start canceling out things that match on both sides. So we got a 10 electrons, 10 electrons, those cancel. Okay, and that's it. <laughs> okay, so we're left with this one. And then we can go ahead and make sure it's balanced by counting atoms and the charges on both sides and shit all that up. Okay. <clears throat> all right, let's give this a shot doing this whole thing. Oh, here we go. So uh, we're going to balance, complete and balance this reaction. Okay, so first we got to figure out what's being oxidized, what's being reduced. Copper starts as zero, goes to two plus, plus two. Okay, nitrogen here. Well, the, hmm, this one's tricky. So each oxygen is minus two, right? And so, but there's a minus one overall, so that means this nitrogen needs to plus seven. All right. <clears throat> nope, that's a lie. Plus five, plus five, plus five plus five because it needs to match the charge right and I did it backwards like a scrub right, plus five okay and so now minus two times three is minus six plus five minus one overall good all right uh, oxygens still minus two so that means this nitrogen needs plus four okay so things getting oxidized we got a copper we got a copper watch out for the coppers they're coming for us all right it's going to go from copper solid to copper two plus all right, and he's losing electrons, and then we've got uh, NO3 minus going to NO2, okay? So that's where we're at, all right? Those are our two different reactions. This is easy, all right? So first step here, balance the non-oxygen hydrogens. No oxygen, and copper is a balance. No oxygens to balance, no hydrogens to balance. Man, this one's easy. So now we just got to get the charges to balance. Well, this is zero. This is plus two, so we're going to add two electrons. This one was easy. All right, now let's try the bottom one here. This one's more complicated. Nitrogen's balance. Okay, now we got to balance our oxygens. Well, we, uh, this one's got three oxygens. This one's got two oxygens, so we need one more water over here. So that's an H2O that goes right here. All right, so now our oxygens are balanced. Now we balance our hydrogens by adding H pluses. Okay, uh, so that goes H2. We need two hydrogens over here. All right, now we char balance our charges. So we've got one, two, one. So we got a charge of one over here. Charge is zero over here. So that means we need one electron over here. All right, 
So far, so good. Now what we've got to do is we've got to, this looks like a suspiciously like a six and it keeps throwing me off. That's a U. All right. <clears throat> so now what we got to do is multiple, we're going to combine these guys because now they're both balanced. We got to combine these guys so that they uh, can't, the electrons cancel out. So that means we got to multiply all of these guys by two. All right. So this becomes two electrons. All right. This becomes uh, four H plus. This becomes two nitrates two nitrites and two waters, all right? And this guy goes away. Now we can just uh, work these guys out. So the two electrons cancel with the two electrons. That's it. Man, this is fun. So you get Cu plus 4H plus plus 2NO3 minus yields Cu2 plus plus 2NO2 plus 2H2O. We're all balanced. Okay, so that's how you would balance it if you were doing it in an acidic solution. Basic solution is slightly different. All right, so pay attention to the next video to figure that out. All right, let me do your practice problems. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll see you on the flip side.